All right, whenever I first started getting into European nymphing, I ran right down that rabbit hole, and I think one of the first things that captured me were some of the beautiful flies that so many tires were tying. That one that really just grabbed me was called a paradigm. And that image, I saw some of these paradigms, and they were tied, and they were like resting upside down. I was like, that's cool, must be very artistic. Little did I know I was about to really make that leap down into jig hooks, because that's what they're primarily tied on. If you look at this image right now, you'll see a hook and you'll see how the point of the hook is sitting up in the air. Now that doesn't just happen magically. What's going on there? We have this fly that's resting on the shank and it's, it kind of does so whenever it's paired with the appropriate slotted tungsten bead. So now you look at it, it's riding upside down. How is it gonna fish? Exactly like that for, we'll say most of the time. 